the channel guys it's Connor again with you today with another video but today we're gonna have a very different video for you we're gonna be talking about drone fishing yes sir it's gonna be drone fishing uh, that's one of my hobbies as well I love using my drone whenever I go I take a lot of shots and I'm kind of trying to put that together with my fishing videos as well as much as I can to follow the regulations and the rules and set place with the FAA as well of course obviously you have to follow the rules you have to be responsible and I've been flying my drone since 2012 I'm a FAA member I registered my drone so I would suggest you do the same if something happens you know they could find it they could contact you you put your registration number on your drone but anyways uh just want to make sure first you follow the rules and regulations and then you'll be fine where to fly where to not to fly obviously those are very important you could look at the map i use the dji mavic pro and you could definitely use the dji map for the geofence safe zone and they have that map and it tells you where you could fly, where you cannot fly, where you need a permission to fly whatsoever. So you could check that out definitely. They will help you out. But today it's going to be a very simple video. I got a product from Amazon. I'm going to link it down below as well in the description. It's a downrigger line. It's a downrig line to use when you're fishing. I'm going to use that uh, attach it to the Mavic Pro bottom. I have the legs I'm going to show you as well. I put on the extension legs, I attach it there, but you could attach it to anywhere really. There's a little space underneath the Mavic Pro. Or you could use that for any other any other drone that you might have. So it's very simple, very effective method to take your bait out in the deep water where you cannot reach and you cannot cast. So that's how I'm gonna be sharing that with you. I'm gonna do three, four couple test rides, test flights to see how it works before I take you to the beach obviously but always get insurance guys these are not cheap these uh, drones are thousand plus sometimes so if you wanna get your investment protected I would uh, highly recommend that you get a uh, insurance I do have insurance with State Farm and if something happens State Farm is there Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> so but i have that just in case something goes wrong i do have my insurance uh, but anyways i want to show you this is the bag that i use it's very nice and very small bag i keep everything in there here's the drone that's the mavic pro very small very light i love it and as you can see the bottom there's two attachments already you could put it anywhere but I do have the extension legs like if you're at the high grass area if you're at the beach you could definitely add those which I'm gonna show you now and this is the leg and that's the extension this is the entire product guys like I said the product link is gonna be at the below description for you that's the leg that I order from Amazon as well very cheap very inexpensive you put it underneath the Mavic Pro and then the down rig comes with the attachment right there the hook if you can see right there so that one I kinda stick it here close bail right there you close it nice and tight I pick the wire leader because it's intent to hold tighter and heavier instead of the mono line because mono line might fly away with the wind and hit the propellers on top that's the worst thing can happen and then you crash your drone obviously so I picked the wire leader is attached right here as you can see and it's 18 inch long and here is the snap that's the tool that at the end is attached that's how it comes and you just snap it from the middle and opens the mouth see right there right there open and close so just like a down rigger you put your line here you let go 
it's very tight so it's not gonna come loose and then you just kind of put that on the drone and attach it here your line take the drone out to the water and your rod and reel I have this one just to give you guys the example I have the Yuzuri doesn't matter what it is it could be a live bait you put on there I have some uh, split shots on there that was a setup for my red fishing snook uh, fishing on the Sebastian Inlet you could check that video as well I'm gonna link it for you up there but that's what I'm gonna be using with the pan battle 2 that's a 5,000 and that's it guys very simple I'm gonna show you on the video how that works shortly but I just wanted to show you the product before I start doing that so you're familiar with it what is exactly I'm using very simple very simple it doesn't come with the leg uh, uh, leg I ordered that separate that's the extension leg and that's the Mavic Pro it just kind of goes right in there that's it like that that's it it snaps in the holes stays like this with the leg right there I fly it out and hangs like that and you put your fishing line right there you snap it to get it secure like that you clip it there that's it very simple very effective and we're gonna test that right now for you guys so hopefully everything will be good we're not gonna lose our drone <laughs> see you guys in a bit bye all right guys we're up here now that's my backyard i'm gonna send the drone all the way out to the lake so you guys can see it's the same idea we're gonna drop the bait on a deep side of the water and like i told you earlier it's already attached and by the way, thank you, my wife, for helping me out. It's already attached in the back leg right there. And there it is. It's just going to hang out there once I send it out. Lift off. And I got my rod ready. I attach it here at the beach. Obviously, you're going to have that. You're going to have your rod ready. You could, like I said, you could put anything, bait, whatever. I just have the Yozuru right now, so it doesn't matter what it is. The Mavic Pro can handle pretty good weight, so you don't have to worry about what kind of bait or how heavy it is. It'll be fine, it'll carry it there. So I'm gonna start for setup on the DJI and the Mavic Pro. If you guys have any questions, you could ask me. That's like a separate video, man. That's a lot of stuff, you have to be careful. You gotta make sure you close the turn off the down sensors so it doesn't affect the cable sticking out you know going around so that's another point but i'll talk to you about that later but right now we're gonna go ahead and start the mavic pro that's it, it says take off yes i agree you gotta make sure you're safe you check everything and now you're ready you just go up and that's it. You could cover it there. Let it hover. As you can see, I could bring it down. Everything is fine. It's here. Since I'm using the wire leader, so it's a little heavier, especially with this item, the snap also heavy. So you don't have to worry about flying up. You know, it stays pretty heavy. So it's not going to go up unless you do something very stupid. Yeah. You just have to know how to control the uh, drone as well. You cannot jerk the control. You have to have the control levels ready so it's nice and smooth, you know? Uh, so that's it. You just bring it there, get it closer. I'm gonna get it right, like that way. Bring it down. And then you can set this down. Doesn't matter. Do your day. Open your bail on the rod, obviously. That's what's going to take the uh, line out. So I'm going to attach it first, then I'm going to open the bail. I'm going to do it right on the braided line, not on the leader, because I have the split shot. I don't want that to affect anything. So I'm going to go ahead and snap it right there. 
right there guys. You don't have to put it all the way, doesn't matter, it's pretty tight. So it's not gonna get loose unless you actually close the bale and fly the drone forward. That's what we're gonna be doing. And that's it, now it's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and open the bale. That's it, nice free. As you can see, the line is free. Now you take your control, and then you start flying the drone, like that. So I got it. So I got it hooked on your your hand. So you got to be careful about that too. You're gonna fly it further. And like I said, the bell is open right now. It's going out there. It's taking it. I'm going. You could go slow. You don't have to go fast. It's taking the line. As you can see, it's going. Because if you go fast, you might do some jerky moves. You don't want that. So it's going, 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 going. You got to make sure, of course, how much line you got left. Let's say I'm okay. I'm happy with that. You close the bell. Now it's locked. I'll make sure it's tight. And then I'm gonna go forward. As I go forward on the drone, it's gonna snap it. Let me see. Ooh, I got it pretty tight, I think. Yeah, it's not. See, that's a problem right there. It's supposed to... Ah, it's not. So I got it too tight. That's what I need to do. I need to bring it back. Let me see. Yeah, how fast you go, doesn't matter. Let me see, go up. No. Yeah, it doesn't drop. Okay. So now with the test, we find out. We put it too high on the snap. We cannot do that. So I'm gonna bring it back. Carefully, obviously, because now we have to reverse all this. So I'm gonna bring it back. There you go. And then keep reeling. Wow, that's a good test, guys. Let me see. If I go forward again, wow, it's not dropping. Wow, okay, so it's not dropping. Right, I'm gonna bring it back. Bring it back and then we're gonna try it again, guys. I'm gonna bring it back, reel it, bring it back, reel, reel, there you go. And every move you do, make it slow. As you can see, I brought it down, so I'm gonna I'm right to me, I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again, reel again. Wow, that thing is really tight. So let's see. We're gonna go ahead and put it. Wow. See, I put it all the way back. So you don't have to. It's not gonna go ahead and snatch out. So I'm gonna adjust that for you. We're gonna put it very slightly. Now we know this is very tight. See, right on the edge, literally. So now they should let me Drop. Right. Open the bail again. Stand it up. There we go. Going up there. That's good. And then close the bail wherever you want it. And then just keep flying forward. There you go. And drops. That's it. And drops it wherever you want it. The item, the down rigger is right there, nothing happened, it didn't snap because we made our moves very smooth. We adjust the levels on the drone very smooth before so you don't have this jerky moves. That also helps you when you feel uh, when you're filming with your drone. That's a big big point that you need to be make sure that you set that up. You have to set your settings very smooth movement. So now those jerky stuff happens. So right now your line's in the water, wherever you want it. And then you just turn your drone around towards you. Very simple. Bring it to you. And then slow. 
you could bring it down and forward to you at the same time. It just takes practice like that. You could get a power. Since you got your dumb settings, sensor set, that's wobbling like that is not going to help. Only the forward. So you hear the beat? That's a forward sensor, which is good. So usually what I do, I hand catch it. I go up, I bring it down. As I bring it to my hand, that's it. One button, you push it down, it shuts it off. Shuts off the motor, nice and safely, your drone is back from you. So what we learned from this test, the first test, this is very tight grip. So you gotta make sure you put it like almost to the edge of it, not all the way in. If you put all the way in, that's a very tight seal. By jerking the drone, it doesn't let go. So that's a big problem if you try to do that and your line's gonna be all the way out. Let's say, my God, 100 feet, whatever you send it out, you don't even see the drone, and you're gonna keep jerking the drone, that's how you're gonna lose your drone. So, that's live and learn. You gotta put it right on the edge, since it's a very tight clip right there. So, that's it. I'm gonna try one more time, and then you guys see exactly. I'll get back to you on the next one. So I'll do it and continue. Number two. Now we learn from the first one, so I think this should go smoother. Start our drone. Take off. Safety notice. Yes. Perfect. You put it up until you get a home point as well. Because home point has been updated. You hover it there. Once you get the home point notification, then you can fly it. You never want to get up and go without the home point. That's very important. You don't get the notification, it's not going to come back to you. If you run out of battery, something happens, always comes to home. So that's another issue that people have. But anyway, there's another video for you. But right now, we're hovering. I'm going to get it close. Put the rod. Go forward. I'm going to go forward. There we go. And we just learned, so we know how to do it now. We're going to put it very slightly, right over there from the braided line, right there. That's it. You don't want it too much back. If you put it back, you saw what happened earlier. So that's it. There should be enough tension when you pull the uh, draw forward and when you lock your bail, you should release it much easier. So, there you go. Now, you're gonna go up, open the bail. This one is much smoother. You go very slow, take your time, go further if you want. See, I'm going all the way now. And that's it. I'm going to close my bail right there. Now it's locked. Now I'm going to go forward. And boom. Bait drop. Perfect. And my drone just sitting there. Can you zoom bait? Perfect. I'm going to turn the drone around, again, no sudden moves, you don't have to rush anything, if you run out of battery or something, the drone's going to come right back to you, see, I'm going left, I'm going right, you don't know what you're doing, doesn't matter, the whole point is, you got to keep it smooth, 
so nothing will happen. As long as you don't jerk it, your drone and the down rake is gonna be just fine. See how it is? It's just hanging there. See? I just smooth the stop. You can bring it down. I'm gonna bring the poisoning, pose the other way, it doesn't matter. You can play with that. Because the worst case scenario, you keep wasting time. It beeps at you, your bed is running out of, you know, battery is low, it's gonna come to you and it's gonna land by itself. You don't have to do anything because you already set your home phone. So it's gonna land right here. So I have my friend, if I leave this right now, I don't have to worry about it. I can go inside, forget about everything. When the battery runs out in 10, 15 minutes, it's gonna come right over here and land right over here. Simple. Set your home point always before you fly. So that's it guys, bring it in, here, I'm going to bring it towards me, right under me, bring it down slowly, put my hand up, and turn off the engine propeller, that's it, done. That's it guys, so I hope this tutorial helps you, it's a very easy and effective way to drop your bait anywhere you want. Let's say you're at the beach, you wanna go to the second bar, you're gonna pass that, there's no way you can cast it. Here you go, here's your drone. So you can take that. You wanna go right under the bridge, there you go. <laughs> you could just use your drone. I mean, the limit is your imagination. So use your imagination, you could use it. But like I said, first, you gotta follow the rules and regulations of the FAA. That's the most important thing. Don't be that guy that you know you gotta be responsible for this stuff you have to know you have to read you have to read the laws where you can fly where you cannot like i told you earlier dji has a map for you for to fly safe zone and what is not safe zone so you could check that before you go fly the previous night do your study do your homework and go there accordingly so nothing will happen to you if somebody comes to you say you cannot fly here you have all your documents ready. You have your FAA registration, you're legal, you know that you could fly there. They cannot tell you anything. It's a safe zone and that's it. Then you'll be good to go. So like I just told you, man, second one was much easier. I'm gonna try that next time at the beach. So I will see you at the beach next time with some drone fishing. See you guys. All right, guys, <laughs> we're back inside. I hope that video helped you guys how to go ahead and take your bait out on the water, deep side. It's a very effective method like I told you. You just have to know how to handle your drone and how to use that uh, down rig. And that's it man, very simple. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate it, man. I'm at 540 right now, going towards my 1,000 subscriber goal. Hopefully, I'll make it. And like I told you, my next video is going to be hopefully, hopefully at the beach trying to do some drone fishing. I'm going to definitely get my lines packed up so I can take it all the way out, man, because these drones, especially Mavic Pro, they go three miles out yes three miles if you can't believe that which i'm not gonna do that obviously it doesn't make sense you don't gonna have a line like that anyway but i'm gonna try it as much as i can man and try to get the big tarpon snook whatever that runs out there with the live bait so that's my goal again thanks for watching i hope you guys like the video i will see you on the next one thanks guys